this tomorrow morning starting at 425. Well, the number is astonishing. One in five women will be raped in their lifetime, according to the Ohio Alliance to End Sexual Violence. Which is why you should know about a shortage that we've uncovered that could directly affect your chance at justice. ABC6 is on your side tonight with a Dublin woman's first 12 hours after being raped and what it can teach all women here in Central Ohio. I met him online. It was the last thing Mackenzie ever thought would happen. Through a website called. To go from emails. He and I had been talking for about three weeks. To face to face. He tries to make a move on me about three times. Every time he does, I tell him, you're not getting anything more than cuddling. To rape on a first date. When I wake up, he has me on my stomach. He is holding my arms down. Left there at dawn, alone and violated by a guy she says didn't even bother to shut the door. Mackenzie's chance for justice began slipping away. I almost didn't go to the hospital. It took my friend a solid hour and a half, two hours to even convince me to go to the hospital. Sue Wismar from Sarnco says that kind of hesitation is not uncommon. We do know that after a trauma, people are facing several choices about their survival coping and um, what they might want to do for the future about reporting or pressing charges. Mackenzie says at 1 p.m., seven hours after the assault, she changed her mind and went to Ohio Health's Dublin Methodist Hospital on a Sunday to get a rape exam. The doctor told me that there was a chance I was going to have to be transferred to Riverside because they didn't have a sane nurse. So she's going to go over there. Not just any nurse can collect evidence of rape. Linda on the right and Lori are specially trained sexual assault nurse examiners or SANE nurses at the University of Cincinnati's Medical Center. You have to collect the evidence within 96 hours. Christina Hinkle trains SANE nurses in the Southern Ohio region and says SANEs are commonly called in as needed. Our turnaround time, we try to make, reduce it to one hour as much as possible. But on that Sunday, Mackenzie is told. There is a nurse on staff right now that has done a rape kit before in the past, but it's a three hour process and she is the only person there and so it would take her away from her other duties. Dublin Methodist would not comment on this specific case, but in a statement says, if a sane nurse is unavailable, an emergency department physician will perform the exam. Unfortunately, all this takes time, and with the demands of an emergency department, sometimes it takes more time than we would like. Are there enough sane nurses in Ohio, do you think? Definitely a shortage on, on sane nurses. It's very difficult to get a nurse off completely through the training. The Ohio Department of Health protocols, which Christine Hinkle helped to write, recommend that hospitals provide sex assault victims with a victim's advocate for help with decision making, a law enforcer to take a statement, and timely collection of evidence. After three and a half hours in the ER, Mackenzie says that she was given another option instead of an exam. Then they tell me that there's a nurse coming in who can do the kit, but she can't be here until seven. And a rape exam can be a couple more hours of grueling evidence collection. The colposcope helps us look at the genital area and the anal area. At 5 o'clock, four hours after arriving, Mackenzie had had enough. When I find a nurse. I tell them that I changed my mind. I don't want the rape kit. I just want to go home and shower, and I don't want to wait. What would have happened had the same nurse been there on duty, ready to go? How would it have been different? I would have been able to get my rape kit done. I would have felt better. I would have felt like I had a stronger case, considering a week later I changed my mind and wanted to press charges. In the end, Mackenzie's case was not prosecuted. Lack of evidence. It's not an ideal situation at all, no. And unfortunately, even at this hospital, sometimes they do have to wait. The reality is that we are staffed by an excellent volunteer corps, which still has gaps in coverage. Gaps that Mackenzie says prompted her to abandon her best hope for justice. The whole experience in general was just extremely frustrating. It's horrible. You get re-victimized again. 
So two takeaways from Mackenzie's story. If you're ever sexually assaulted, you may have to wait longer than you'd like to have evidence collected at the hospital. And evidence is still usable for up to 96 hours after the assault, but only if you take the right steps. And to that end, we've put together a comprehensive list of resources on our website tonight, including steps you should take if you're sexually assaulted. The full list is there. Also, many rape crisis phone numbers for all areas of Central Ohio and also the hospitals in our area that are uh, currently operating with the SANE nurse program, have SANE nurses there. All good information to help you craft an emergency plan for what to do if you're ever sexually assaulted. It's there under top stories at abc6onyourside.com. Thank you, Bob. ABC6 continuing coverage.